Now that we've understood package.xml, let's try to deploy some metadata to our org, right? So before deploying it, let's do something. Let's open our developer console right here. And let's just keep that open. Now while the developer console opens up there, what I'll do here is I'll just try to create something here in my VS Code repository. So let's say our requirement is to create a new Apex class, right? So what I can do is I can just say again, command shift P or control shift P and I can just write Apex. So it's keyword driven and it's intelligent code completion, not code completion here, but command completion here. So you can just say create Apex class from this particular section right here. Or what you could also do is go to the classes section, right click, and you could say SFDX create Apex class here. So you have both options present, right? So let me just click on create Apex class. This prompts me to enter a file name. I'll call it my first Apex. And it asks me for a default directory, which says force app main default classes, which means this folder right here, which is correct. So I'll just select this particular directory and this creates my first Apex class along with the meta file right here. With the API version and the status, I see that my Apex class is created. Public with sharing my first Apex with the constructor. Right? So let me do something. Let me just create a method right here. And I'll just put up a debug log. All right, I'll just save my Apex class here. So now if you see that my classes folder has a Apex class that's present here. But do you think this file will be present on my org? It won't be, right? Because you would have to deploy this file from your local, or local repository to your org. So to do that, you can just simply click on right click and you can just say deploy this source to org. Okay, so to deploy anything from your current source, to a repo or any destination, you can use the deploy command and to fetch any kind of information, you can say retrieve. Make sense? All right. So now when you say deploy this source to org, what this will do is this will internally run a deployment and deploy this particular Apex class to your Salesforce org. So to check beforehand, let's copy this my first Apex class and let's just go here and say command shift O and let's search for our Apex class and see if it is a present there. So I don't see any Apex class with this name, right? Now let's do something. Let's go back to VS Code and just say deploy. So it runs a deploy source to our command through the SFDX CLI. And once this is successful, we should see a uh, success message coming up here. So you see, deploy source to org has successfully ran. And if you see the output, these two files have been successfully created in your org. Right now that we go to our developer console and search for our file. We might have to refresh our developer console. Let's refresh our developer console. And now let's search for our file. That's called my first Apex. So you see the my first apex class is available here and you see this is the same class that we created from vs code right so this is how you can deploy metadata from your uh, source repo which would be on the vs code side of it to your destination orgs right now what org is this this is the same org that's connected to the vs code through the default default access authorization here all right super cool